I was manager, I brought things like warm downs in and you know, they were like, what the hell is a warm down? Different guy, yeah. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing a warm down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Through your career, has any, any manager ever brought something new to a training session and the, the squad's just gone, nah, mate. Oh, I'll tell you what, one, one in particular, it must have been under, who was it under? I want to say it was Jim, which, which would surprise me if it was. But it started to train at three o'clock. Oh, okay. In yeah. The, yeah. Um, I remember something uh, it, no, being it might said be before that. Because uh, yeah, they wanted to line it more with your body Willie being Donicky, ready on a Saturday. Willie Donicky wanted to bring it in. <coughs> right, that'd be joke. He was a, he, yeah, so he was assistant money, and I think he was like bang on it, saying that we were having problems. It was a season we didn't really finish too well. It's last uh, season. It's last season. Yeah. yeah. And and he was like, we need to change something. Like there are teams that are kind of going ahead of the time, doing sports sciencey stuff and this that and the other. And Willie Donicky was was big on kind of okay. the mental side of the game and stuff like that psychology well. yeah psychology and he was just like you know why don't we why don't we start training at three and you could see all the dads going <laughs> <laughs> three o'clock <laughs> I mean I keep my kids up at three <laughs> why, 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 she's why? not going to be happy with this so uh, it lasted I think it lasted two weeks I think if if that ten days and even they were just like it's not working because I think the problem they had would be some of the um, some of the drinkers <laughs> <laughs> would would train, go and have a few beers because oh, they knew dear. they had a recovery in the morning before training. Oh dear! <laughs> yeah, so they thought, oh, we can't do that. Was it still but, was it still big then drinking when you turned up? Because obviously, in like Ian Marshall's yeah, so era, that, whole different thing. Yeah, it's only so, ten years is different, isn't it? Really? So, Blessing. I think I, I I was quite naive to it. Mm. Hugely naive to it. Smoking, you know, I I thought that no professional footballer would smoke. And I don't know if you guys like you know, but not I used to. It, it, to I used to. Yeah. yeah so, so Alan Lee didn't he? Didn't he smoke? Alan Lee would have a, have a smoke. Yeah. It's like, a celebration, I think. Yeah. It? Most of the, most of the French players would smoke and have a glass of red wine the night, two, okay. three, maybe bottle, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, but I, <laughs> I, I would I would I would come in and and or like go after track. I'd come in and like they'd be talking about it, and I'd be like, oh, they're not talking about themselves, surely not. And then I'd go into town like with a few a few of the younger boys, and they're. They'd be like, on a lad just sitting outside of a coffee shop, coffee, fag, like, and I'd be like going, oh, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you smoking? Wow. Surely, and but it's so, it was just a naivety because they would still train, they'd still perform, they'd still be unbelievable, yeah. but that's one of the things they would just do. Gosh. It's part of the culture. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, especially the, the continental players, yeah, you say. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, the drinkers, yeah, the drinking side of it, I think that's still kind of there, but you don't really get so many like Tuesday nights, Tuesday night clubs. No, it's more a Saturday night now, and you see it's it, more you know, Saturday night, yeah, yeah go. like lads go like getting together, going to an actual club, like that kind of going to the pub kind yeah. of that era has kind of gone. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really interested to find out how addressing deals with that, and with like what you know, what the management want to bring in. So yeah. do you all have a meeting? Do 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 the senior players speak? For you, instead of asking you, yeah, how yeah, does, sort of. How does yeah. a locker, how does a dressing room? Normally, like, like now, it's like, like we live in a democratic society, so we like we like everyone put their hands up for this, blah blah blah. Right. And everyone gets their say now. Whereas back then, it wasn't. It was just a case of the senior ones. Four or five senior boys would just be like, look, not having it. You know, we're not having it, or this oh, is what I'm going to do. And and you, and you as a young one would just be like, okay, yeah, whatever. Whereas. Now it's like, yeah, we've got to show, show our hands. What do you want to do? Well, should we do this? Or And it's not necessarily, say, a, a manager wants to bring something in. We don't then sit and have a meeting and go, right, what, what are we going to do? Because you just, you do it. You do what the manager wants you to do. It more, it's more a case of, right, where are we going for our Christmas do? We want to go. hands up for Manchester. <laughs> so, huh. so it's, yeah, you, back then it was just four or five of the old ones would make the decision. Fair enough. Yeah. 